One of the most important things to do when you're making videos is to edit out your mistakes. There's no doubt that you're going to be doing some umming and awing and you may make some mistakes along the way, but that doesn't mean you have to start your video all over again. If you misspoke, you can just speak all over again and record that bit over again without worrying about the mistake before it because you can edit it out later. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do now. Uh, first thing we need to do is install our software which is Solvig Abbey Trimmer. So you should have downloaded that from the resources area and then you'll have a zip file like this so you should unzip it. And then once you've unzipped it, double click on the exe file and run that. Of course on Windows Vista you get all these security things. Now there's something that we need to do in here. We agree to this. Uncheck the Solvig WMP Trimmer Plugin Shareware. You don't need that, and that's something you would have to pay for. So uncheck that, click Next, and Next, and Next, and Next, and install the thing on your computer. Okay, now we'll start it up. And here's what it looks like here. Let's close some of these things. All right, so here is our piece of software that we're going to use to edit out our mistakes. Okay, so now the first thing we need to do is to bring up our source file. So we saved our test file, so just go find it on your computer. And we'll load it in. Now, a little player came up here. There it is. And then we have our main software window here. So what we do is where we're going to start keeping what we want, we're going to put our first marker which we have here and at the end of what we want to keep we're going to put our marker there. So we'll start at the beginning and we'll play through and if we wanted to cut out the first few seconds what we would do is pause it, put a marker in there. Now it would keep everything between this marker and the end. Now what I can do is I can go forward from here Okay, so we're watching the video behind here, and then when we get to the spot that we want to keep, we would put the other side of the marker in there. Okay, this is now a part of the new video we're going to keep. So what we do is we click Add, and it adds that piece of the clip into our finished product, or what will be our finished product. This is our bin of clips that is going to be in our finished product. So now what we do is we just continue playing. And when we find where we want to start again to keep the next bit, we put another marker here. And now at this point, it would keep everything from here forward, but we can continue to edit just by listening and watching. And if we find the place where we want to stop, okay, so there's where we want to keep that portion. So we'll put this marker on that side. And then what we will do is we will add. So basically what's in our clip bin were the things between the markers. This is what we're keeping. Everything else will be discarded on output. So we'll continue. Okay, so we want to discard what's in here and we want to keep from there to the end. So we put a marker here and then we click add and it puts everything in there from there to the end. So now we have three clips in here or three portions of our main clip that will make out our output clip. So what we do now is we give it a destination file. Let's click here and then we'll give it a name at the bottom here and we can just call it fixed or whatever you want to call it. Done. Whatever you want to call it, you just put it here and save. Now what we have to do is click run. You see the progress bar here. 
and our new clip is now complete. So if we were to go and click on it on our desktop, bring it up in the media player, this will contain only the parts of our clip that we wanted and it has discarded the mistakes that we were trying to take out of it. So that's how simple it is to edit your clip. Now in the next part we're going to go over how to create a streaming video from our AVI file that we've just edited. Now we're going to use FLV Producer Lite to create our FLV file. FLV files are streaming video. So what we need to do is find our input video, which is our edited video. So just click on Browse and find it on your computer. Now we need to have an output folder to put all the files in. So you would want to create a new folder here. So you can do that by clicking Browse and then go somewhere on your desktop or whatever and create a new folder and then give it a name. Okay, and we'll select that. And now it's going to go in done. Our output video is done.flv and our output HTML is index.html. We click next. Now in here we can set the size of our video. We have some presets here. For instance, DSL is 320 by 240, modem is 160 by 120, and ISDN is 240 by 180. However, you can go down here and make it any size you want out of the selections there. Your frame rate and your bit rate, you can change those if you want, but you should leave them the way they are unless you know what you're doing here. And you can enable audio, and we'll set that to mono because that's how we recorded it and you have your bit and sampling rates here. Now all you have to do is click start encoding and you'll see the bar go across as it creates the FLV file. Now it's all done so we click next a little arrow there. Up here we can give it a page title whatever you want there. If you want it to pause at the start the buffer size you can set here to preload the movie if you want to show a border around the movie and you can enable an affiliate link although I don't think there's an affiliate program for this anymore this is disabled on the light version as well as are the other players so you have to use a standard player now what you want to do is click produce a web page and it will have created the index page inside of our folder and now what we do is click preview web page Click on that, and there it is. Our video is now in FLV format, and if we click on there, it starts to play just like it should. Okay, so that's all fine. And now if we go and we open up our folder where we saved everything, you'll see that in here we have done.flv, which is the name that we gave our output file. After we edit it, we have our index, which is our main index page. If somebody clicks on that, it plays the video, and then the player is here. So those are the only three files you need. So that's it. Now, if you let's open this again here for a second. I'm just going to open it with Firefox. It's faster. Now you notice. Let me move this up a bit. That's got learn more about flash video. You may want to take that off there because it goes back to their website as you can see here. So let's go and edit this. We'll just do an open with and we'll open it with notepad. And then we'll go to the bottom and we'll just get rid of this at the bottom. Just these two lines. Delete that out of there and save. And now if we open this again. We move it up a bit, you'll see that that link is now gone there.
Okay, and now one more thing I want to show you is how you could put this video on a sales page. Now, a lot of times people put a video on their sales page to demonstrate some feature of their product. So all you have to do is take this code, you just open it with Notepad, and then you just grab everything inside the body tag here. So just grab all of this just before this body and just after that body tag. Just copy it and then you can paste that right into your website. Now your main website and all of these files, the done and the player, have to be together. You won't need this index file, just the contents that we have here. So I'm going to go and grab a demo website and then we're going to show you how to do that. Okay, so I've moved a site into here. Now what we want to do is first we're going to copy these two files in with all of our other site files. And then when we upload our site to our server, these will go with it. So we'll just take these and then we'll paste them into here. The next thing we're going to want to do is either open our main site in a web editor or we can do with Notepad if we know where to put the code. So first let's open this index page that was created for us with FLV Producer Lite. And then let's just grab everything between these body tags, like I was saying before. Just highlight it and then do a copy. And then we can close this. Now, I'll go back to our site here. We can either open this with Notepad or we can open it with a program like Composer. So I'm going to open it with Composer. You can just do a search on Google for Composer and you'll be able to find it. We'll just do an open and we'll find our site file. Okay, and then we open up the index of our main site, and it brings it up in here. Now we decide where we want the video to go, just in the editor, and we can just click and decide where we want to go, and then all we have to do is glue insert and HTML, then we just paste that code right in there. Your editor may work somewhat different, but that's all you have to do is figure out where to paste the code and then paste it in and save. Now when we open up our index page, we're going to open with Firefox, we roll down, there is our encoded video in our web page. So we've actually put it in there and it's all ready to go.